because I loved yoga in college. Like, I actually oh my goodness. really love I've COVID. I didn't get a positive test, but when I spoke to with public health and told them what was going on, they told me I needed to isolate for five days minimum. And, um, yeah, so I'm wide awake and it's like 1130. My work has been very kind and I get to work from home. Um, I wasn't really feeling that great today or yesterday. Um, but it's 11 o'clock at night and I think I might be slowly snuffing out of it. I don't know, the medicine that I've been taking though seems to keep me up at night, so I don't know. I've got Vicks Vapor Rub on the chest, watching YouTube, and Matt and Tristan should be home any minute now. And I cannot wait to feel better. Like, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not crying watching the girls next door. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm <laughs> so lame. It's because I'm not feeling well. Don't judge me. I was feeling pretty sick, but this may have been a little <sighs> dramatic. Just emptying the dishwasher is like one of the most exhausting tasks of the day. COVID sucks. But really at the end of the day, it is really just a super crappy cold. I take that back. At least for me, it's just a really crappy cold. It might not be the same for everybody, but for me, it's just been a really crappy, exhausting, kind of never ending cold. But to be honest, I think I just always went to work sick, whereas before, or now you can't do that. So it just feels like it's longer and life isn't going on, but actually it's not. I'm just not suffering through it while I'm at work this time. While my immune system was at war with my body, Mother Nature was at war with poor Coburn. We got hit with a massive snowstorm. And being that I had like zero energy, was achy, and just felt like absolute garbage, Matt was left to shovel all on his own and he needed to carve out paths for Nixon to be able to go to bathroom obviously Nixon's so tiny he couldn't like move a muscle if it wasn't for Matt's shoveling before I go any further though I did want to mention that when I contacted public health I asked them about how accurate the home tests were I did three rapid tests at home that all came back negative but I had I'd say just about every symptom of COVID, and I'm assuming that's why I was told to treat it as if it were COVID. I had muscle ache, fever, uh, runny nose, sore throat, um, back aches, if I didn't say that already. I was disoriented. I was clumsy. I don't know. It was just an absolute mess. And this is when I lost my hearing and had to resort to a nasal inhaler to try to loosen up my sinuses that were causing um, the blockage in my ears, I guess, and the ringing. So it took a while, but it did work and I got my hearing back, but it, it took a while and the ringing took a long time to go away. But thank goodness for this stuff. I don't even remember what it was called, but it worked and it worked well. I hope no one else has to go through this piece of it. I, like I said, I don't know if it was COVID. It could have just been a super bad cold.
this is not fun but today today is today is going to be my last day of feeling sick i've just decided this is it i'm not doing it anymore so yeah this is it last box of kleenex last day of shoving shit up my nose so that i can breathe today will be the last day my ears are ring I'm just done. I'm done. It will not be the last day I drink some tea, though. And if there was ever a sponsor that I would love to have, it would probably be David's Tea or some sort of hot chocolate. Oh. feels like day 100 and I'm done. On a good note though, I did read, uh, I finished reading a book, which was, I don't think I have it with me anywhere. I put it, put it away. It's called Dark Roads by Chevy Stevens. That one's done. And now I'm on to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I can't wait to read it, but I left my glasses at work and the print in this book is so small, so I don't know if I can read it without my glasses, but we'll see. I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to feel better. Anyways, if any of you guys have either had uh, like the worst cold of your life or COVID, I'm really sorry. And if you haven't, I would strongly suggest that you do everything possible to boost your immune system, lose some weight, exercise, get your vitamins, whatever you gotta do, I would strongly suggest you do it so that your body is able to fight the nasty colds, the COVID, the whatever. It can't hurt, so yeah, I would definitely suggest that. Anyways, thanks for watching, and this wasn't exactly the most <laughs> fun um, a vlog, but now you kinda got a glimpse into what it was like to be me and be sick. And it sucked. So next vlog should be better, but I hope all of you are staying happy and healthy and that you're not going through any of this crap. Anyways, have a great week and we will see you next week.